This question is from gate 2014, Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 3, question number 34. An annular disc has a mass m, inner radius r and outer radius 2r. The disc rolls on a flat surface without slipping. If the velocity of the center of mass is v, the kinetic energy of the disc is dash. So for an annular disc, we can write the given things. It is given that inner radius, which is to be denoted by R1 is capital R and the outer radius that is R2 is 2 times of capital R. The disc is rolling on a flat surface without slipping. Velocity of center is small v and we need to find out the kinetic energy of the disc. Let's see how it is found out. Let this be the annular disc. As per the given information, we have denoted all the geometric properties here along with the velocity of center small v mass of the annular disc small m and we have also shown the angular velocity of the disc omega. So if the disc rotates clockwise, center is going to move like this in the forward direction. Of course, it is moving on a frictionless surface where this point of contact can be given as O. So center is C and point of contact is O. Now we have to find the kinetic energy of a rolling disc. So kinetic energy for rolling disc can be given as half into its mass moment of inertia I into square of its angular velocity omega. So omega square I omega square by 2. This gives us the kinetic energy of the rolling discs. Now we will have to consider a single point with respect to which we can calculate the kinetic energy of the disc. We will consider this contact point O because this is nothing but the instantaneous center of the disc when the disc rotates. Angular velocity of the disc omega can be calculated by using velocity of the center small v divided by the maximum radius or the distance between extreme edge of the body from the center of mass which is 2r. So we have small v by 2r giving us the angular velocity of the disc omega. Now let's calculate I, mass moment of inertia of the disc, but I we will have to calculate about point O rather than point C because motion is happening with respect to point O. O is the instantaneous center. So this IO will be calculated using the parallel axis theorem. When we calculate mass moment of inertia about C, we have IC and we will have to shift it to O using parallel axis theorem. So we'll do plus M into the distance between O and C that is OC whole square. Let's substitute IC is nothing but M into R1 square plus R2 square by 2 plus M into OC square. OC distance is nothing but 2R so we can substitute it directly 2R square. Therefore IO will be equal to this is M into R1 is R so R square plus 2R square. R square plus 2R whole square is nothing but 4R square divided by 2 plus 4M R square. Let's take MR square common here. So small m capital R square we have taken common. In the bracket there is 1 plus 4, 5 by 2 and 4. So we have 5 by 2 plus 4. Therefore we get IO is equal to this becomes 5 plus 8, 13 by 2, 13 by 2 small m r square and omega we already found out, small v by 2 r. Let's substitute this to find out the kinetic energy. So we have kinetic energy is equal to, this is half into I O that is 13 by 2 m r square into omega square that means we have v by 2 r whole square. Don't forget to take this or you may get the wrong option as the answer. So we have this as 13 divided by 2 into 2, 4 into 2 square, 4. So that is 4 into 4, 16. 13 by 16 into m r square by r square gives us 1. We are left with v square. So the answer that we get is 13 by 16 m v square. Let's go back and mark the correct option. The correct option is option C that is kinetic energy of the disc is 13 by 16 mv square.
To learn more about rigid body motion, you can refer to the MPTL video, rigid body motion 7, fixed axis rotation, kinetic energy and moment of inertia for fixed axis. It is from the course Engineering Mechanics by Professor Manoj K. Harbola. He is from Department of Physics, IIT Kanpur. I hope the solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.